Hey guys, how you doing? I feel like crap, and it is zero degrees out here. Oh, cold. This is going to be the last video of the build. Today is electro etching. So what electro etching is is you're taking like, salt water and a uh, car battery jumper and putting it onto your steel. So what I got is vinyl on the blade that I made for my Cricut machine. I got my touch mark here. Now I got the image of what the person wanted. They wanted pap on there. There's a handle. I know it looks a little dull. I'm going to spray with uh, some clear coat. It'll brighten it right up. And I know the pin got a little bit off. I don't know how that happened, but that happened or peening, which is fine. Uh, the customer has a problem with it. So I'm going to set you up over here at the table, show you what I'm going to do and kind of explain how the process of electro etching works. I've been asked several times on how to do it. I'm not, not going to do much talking and this sinus infection is really killing me. It's been setting in for a while today and just was full board. So let me get you to turn around here so you can see what I'm doing. All right, I hope you guys can see that. Um, I got the blade chucked up in my hand sanding jig that I made here. What I got is... Well, you're not going to be able to see that. A thing of salt water. I got battery jumper. Make sure you use an old one. This one's fairly old. It's good. I wouldn't say it's five plus years old. It's not strong enough to jump a star car anymore. That's why I'm using it. I end up having to get a new one. But you're going to take your positive hook it up to bare metal so underneath of on the other side of this blade is bare metal you're going to take your negative put a piece of wire on it with the cotton ball okay you're going to go and dip it in your salt water now you want to be very careful because if there's any bare metal showing it'll most certainly put a uh, scratch, not a scratch on it. It'll burn the, where you don't want it to burn. And that's a bad thing. So all I do is I take it, I dip it in the salt water, and I just place it down. Now, I don't know if it's going to catch it on image or not, but you're looking for bubbles and it's going to make a sizzling sound. That's how you know it's working. I go let it sit there for a couple seconds. I lift and I move over. Do my touch mark a little bit. Now I'm going to move over some. Move over to the A here. Now I'm sorry if it's a little hard to hear me. Like I said, I'm feeling like crap today. Now, ideally, you want clean steel. Uh, let me grab a paper towel here. Because underneath of this is bare metal. So I got to be super careful. You got to watch. Now, that's another thing you got to watch for. You got to watch for water driplets or water puddles. Because what it will do is it will travel and it will hit parts of the blade that you don't want it to hit. I've had that happen to me a couple times, which I was able to get it out. It wasn't deep. But it was enough to where I had to take it 
back to my belt grinder for a couple of strokes and re-hand sand it. <coughs> uh, sorry if that just grossed you out. I apologize for that. So like I said, a couple seconds in one spot. Get any dampness off. Now what you're doing is, what the electro etching does is, it uh, eats the metal away. More or less. That's the best way I can put it. And everywhere that is covered by the vinyl is safe. But any bare metal, it'll etch it. It is a pretty cool process. I learned this from my... Uh, I think it was Green Beetle. If you want to watch one of his videos on etching, I believe it was Green Beetle or uh, DIY Easy Crafts. I think it was another one that did it. They do real nice images on blades. It, the work they do is amazing. I just... Do little simple stuff like this, like wording. I would, I've done images before, but with simpler images. In fact, if you go back on my uh, YouTube, you'll see I Electro etched a uh, memorial plaque for somebody. That was uh, a little bit more advanced. So if you want to check that one out. In fact, that whole process was pretty cool. If you guys want to check it out, I enjoyed doing it. It was fun. Now, here's a big thing about electro etching. You don't know how deep it's going. Honestly, you don't. Um, you just have to kind of guesstimate on how deep it's going. I'll make like a few passes, then I'll call it a day on it. Um, but if you want a real deep, deep, deep etch, you're gonna be there for a while. Now, as you can see, now some of this is steam because the uh, water is warmer than inside of the shop. I got my heater going, but it ain't helping any. But, yeah, you know you got this right whenever the image is turning black. And there's, uh, I'm going to just call it steam. You'll let, no, we'll, we'll use smoke. Smoke is coming off of the cotton ball. Now, you see how dark that is? You want to change our cotton ball out. And there's no amount of salt water you can, that, that is needed. I just put like a cup of salt water in a little container like that, and it's more than good enough. I wasn't going to do this video today because of how crappy I feel, but I promise I would make this video, and here I am. It's for you guys. So like, share, subscribe. Yeah, I feel like crap. Um, now another thing that you have to worry about is if you got a newer battery pack, like a starter pack for a car, it won't actually do the job. Um, what it will do is it will short out and shut off. 
because that's actually what you're doing. You're shortening it out whenever you do this. They do actually make machines for this, but this is Redneck 101. All right, I'm gonna pause the video here. Then I'll be back when I'm done. All right, now I'm done etching now. So I want to go over everything that I did. I went on my computer. I made an image off my Cricut machine. After I placed it on the blade, <clears throat> now I took a container of salt water cotton ball, dipped it in the water, and put it on the negative side of the jumper pack. I put the positive side of the jumper pack onto the blade with bare metal underneath. I took it and dipped it. I placed it on the blade for, I think I was doing like 20 seconds per uh, placement on the blade and I think it only took me what 10 minutes 15 minutes something like that to get it all etched you could do images like very strategic elegant images on the blade then that's if you're good with the Cricut machine and I advise do some simple stuff like this before you get into elegant images this is a very delicate process. One little screw up and you'll screw your whole blade up. And I I'm I put way too much work into this to mess it up. But I'm going to peel this off. It's like opening up a, a Christmas gift. No, hey, you know what? It is Christmas in a couple days. And go me, I feel like crap. Alright, that's what you'll get whenever you take the vinyl off. Don't worry, the blade's not ruined. I'm going to take it over to the buffing machine, get it buffed up and cleaned up, and I'll be right back. Alright, I got her all cleaned up. It's still cold out here. Uh, that came out pretty exactly how I want it got my touch mark there got pap in there she is nice and shiny time to get her into the etch yeah I didn't realize how shiny it actually was I can see myself through the camera that's actually pretty cool <laughs> alright little things like that make me happy I'm going to go put in the acid. Hopefully it's not frozen. Probably is. I might have to take it upstairs and put it in vinegar. Um, vinegar is a little bit more time consuming. Sometimes it could be really aggressive. Um, acid, it's the same way. It could be very aggressive too. It all depends on how things go. But I'm going to go ahead and put in the acid and I'll see you guys here in a little bit at the end of the video. Alright guys, I'm back at the house. So I had to use uh, vinegar. My uh, ferric chloride was frozen. So I couldn't use it. But I got it all done. And I'm going to flip this around and show you what the blade looks like. Alright, there she is. Look at that beautiful pattern. That's stainless steel razor blade in with uh, 1084 powder, I believe I used. There's a handle. Once I spray some clear coat on it, it will clear right up, look a lot better. 
Here's the other side. Good old vinegar bath. Can't go wrong with it. Here's the other side. Like I said, once I spray it with clear coat, it'll clean right up. My, I still got to make sheath for it and uh, give it a final sharpening. Alright guys, have a good one. Have a Merry Christmas. Um, and a Happy New Year. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your holidays. Stay safe. Stay humble. Bye-bye.